Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing weekly guidance message for October 24th through October 30th. In this message, we are going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We're going to see what's challenging you this week and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Cancer, let's jump right in and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Cancer Spirit. What do my Cancerian friends need to know? Please and thank you. The energy that I'm feeling here, Cancer, is an energy of feeling drained. Drained by a situation, drained by a particular person, drained by a particular scenario with the Nine of Cups in the reverse. And there we have the Devil energy. This is a very toxic connection. A person who is maybe even an energy vampire. For a lot of you, this is going to resonate as a friendship. For some of you, this is going to be a relationship that you're needing to take yourself out of and having a hard time distancing yourself from this person. Maybe you feel bad. Maybe you feel sorry. Whatever the case may be. But I feel here, Cancer, there's a need to trust your gut, to listen to your intuition. It's time to move forward. It's time to walk away. It's time to stop overthinking this. Especially if this is causing more harm than good okay nine of cups in the reverse the energy surrounding you cancer this week the hermit the page of pentacles the, the ace of pentacles so this is like evaluating a new opportunity with a friendship um a person who is maybe offering maybe a business partnership or moving things forward in regards to money but you're really evaluating this opportunity and we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment it's almost as if cancer you're trying to figure out if this fits in with where you see yourself headed with your life plans and i feel here you're you're it's not aligning it's not aligning for you cancer and i wouldn't be surprised if the seven of cups comes out because i feel like there's a lot of questioning if this is the right decision if this is the right person if this is a good opportunity for you to embark on okay and the reason being cancer is because i feel like in the past in the past you have tried to do similar endeavors with this particular person and it hasn't panned out okay so let's clarify because i feel here cancer you're headed in a new direction and it's almost as if you're trying to evaluate if this person is going to be heading that direction with you. So the Hermit, the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles here for Cancer. Please and thank you, Spirit. Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. For Cancer's energy. So Cancer, this is symbolic of you withholding your energy from this particular person. Um, again, it's not aligning for you. This opportunity is just not aligning for where you see yourself headed. You're questioning, again, if this is the right decision. If this person is going to really be honest. Um, if this is really going to play out like they say it's going to play out or if it's going to be re a repeat of the past energy and i will say with the devil energy here cancer this is definitely a karmic lesson that needs to be learned okay it's time to be honest with yourself about this person about this situation okay i feel like there's a lot of back and forth a lot of questioning if this is the right decision if this is the right person if this is the right opportunity you already intuitively know 
it's not. What I say to my clients, whenever you feel like you're questioning a situation, an option, a person, that's universal, a soft no. That's spirit's way of letting you know it's not in alignment for you at this time. Listening and trusting your intuition is going to be the key. So let's pull over the advice for you, Cancer. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. If you're interested in a personal reading, the information is all linked below. I have a special this month for $33 for 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes usually get pretty good at getting the answer within that amount of time cancer queen of cups four of pentacles hanged one the knight of swords the knight of pentacles and the eight of swords so this is something that you're definitely up in your head over analyzing overthinking keeping yourself attached to the situation because of the analyzing the thinking the determining if this is the right person, opportunity, path, decision, cancer. What I challenge you to ask yourself is, would this person be as helpful for you as you are for them? If the shoe is on the other foot, would you be helpful? Would they be helpful if you needed them? Right? So Cancer, for Truth's message here is always do your best. Don't overdo. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself. And it will take you longer to accomplish your goal. Don't overdo it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Cancer. So Cancer, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. The main thing that I get from this entire reading is this person, this situation, this opportunity that you're questioning, you already know intuitively it's not the right decision. So setting that boundary is going to be important this week, Cancer. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.